New tonight, News 3's Keely Arthur has a look at what you can do to help a loved one or friend dealing with mental illness. Well, we don't normally cover suicides, but today we spoke with a local mental health expert in hopes of shedding light on a seldom talked about topic. The Metcalf family is reeling right now. Heart-wrenching news this afternoon as a family spokesperson relayed what happened to local business owner and beloved wife and mother, Julie Metcalf. We do know that Julie suffered from depression, and it appears she drove her vehicle into Lake Mendota early in the morning hours to end her own life. What a sad thing. My heart goes out to the family. Sue Petkoshik of the National Alliance of Mental Health has dealt professionally and personally with suicidal individuals. I have lived experience because my son has schizophrenia. Her son, thankfully, is still alive. She says in part because she trained herself to spot his suicidal tendencies. Giving away possessions, um, making comments like, um, I'm not going to be here for such and such. Sometimes people will just really be in a down mood or sometimes they're really happy because they've decided and they've got a plan. If you notice these changes in someone, Petkoshik says it's time to start asking specific questions like, are you planning to hurt yourself? Do you not want to be here anymore? What is your plan and when and where are you going to do it? And the more specific details they have thought out, the more serious the threat is. And while it can be a tough line of questioning, it could be the difference between a life lost or saved. You need to act because you might be able to save a life and you don't get many chances to do that. If you know someone or you are struggling, please ask for help. Experts say people who do are way more likely to overcome this. And there are a number of resources on our website, channel3000.com, including a 24-hour crisis hotline. Keely, thank you.